So this is uh, what I call the uh, Fruden drill. It's basically just a drill to develop uh, Fruden, right? So when you're, um, how it works is you just go into a bind and one person just moves the sword around a bunch. And the other person's job, right, is to just stick to the sword, right? So if you move, move my sword around, right? So my only goal is to stick to her sword, okay? And in the instances where the swords basically end up like this, is where you'll mostly slide off. And another one is, if my sword is here, I can kind of just wrench it out from underneath, and there's not a lot the other person can do. That's kind of a good training though, or it's useful for training, because like, if you end up in a scenario where, like, I have the strong here, it really forces you to be like, Okay, I have to commit to trapping their point because otherwise they can just like you know you can just put, you can just pull it back and around and now all of a sudden she's on the inside and I'm on the outside. So in those scenarios, they are huge opportunities, but they are also like very dangerous. So you have to handle them like in this, um, right? So the goal is not really to push the uh, to if you're if you're practicing uh, pruning. You're practicing uh, sticking to the opponent's blade. Your goal is not to really like force them around or resist them um, for this drill. It's just to be able to relax, like stay as relaxed as possible, but still maintain contact, right? No matter how they move. And this is, it's a lot harder than you would expect. So at this phase, we're really, really just focusing about uh, on maintaining that, that point of contact. We're not worried about like where the points are going and anything other than just maintaining that contact no matter what our opponent does. 